in you. Are you curious and want to learn more about self-love? Maybe you recognize that you need to work on your sense of self-love. Having self-love or growing your sense of self-love has the power to change your life. You can become more confident, resilient, honest, authentic, and develop your self-worth. These are 10 unexpected ways that self-love will change your life. Number one, it can improve your health. The most obvious form of self-love is self-care. We all have different ideas of what self-care looks like since it's personal to each person. But self-care is a way for you to meet your needs and improve your overall well-being. As you develop your self-love, you'll begin to make time for things that make you feel better in the long run, such as working out, journaling, or cooking and eating a healthy recipe. When you practice self-care, you're recognizing your personal needs and doing the things you need to do to meet those needs. Number two, your relationships may change. There's a modern day proverb about relationships, which goes, we accept the love we think we deserve. Loving yourself and how you love yourself sets the example for how others should love you. On your journey to self-love, you might wanna take stock of your current relationships. Ask yourself, what are my relationships like right now? What is my role in this relationship? Do I like the relationship the way it is or do I want it to change? Asking yourself these questions helps to clarify your boundaries and what you're willing to accept from others. If you love yourself, you'll find that you'll be a bit less tolerant of any behavior that undermines how you've decided to treat yourself. Your self-worth and personhood will not be dependent on how others perceive you, but more so on how you see you. Number three, you'll build your confidence. Part of self-love is the ability to unconditionally and personally accept all of you as who you are, warts and all. Once you've learned to accept who you are and still be open to the possibility of improvement, your self-confidence will soar. Though insecurities will surface, they'll not overwhelm you. You'll develop the emotional maturity to acknowledge them and try to be better. Number four, your self-worth may improve. Along with your self-confidence, your self-worth will also improve. As a result, you will feel more capable of taking risks and going after what you want. Because you will feel more comfortable in your abilities, your drive and motivation towards curtailed goals will reemerge. Additionally, you'll strive to work hard for the things you actually want and not choose to settle. Number five, you'll develop your own sense of style. Style or swag is not just a fashion accessory. It's a state of mind. It's your own unique signature that translates into what you wear and how you wear it. Having swag is having self-assuredness and knowing who you are. Swag is not achieved through false bravado or fake self-confidence, but through the process of knowing yourself and becoming comfortable in your own skin. You know what you like and what you don't, and you communicate that to others respectfully. Number six, how you relate to your family and friends might change. Self-love will change your relationships with your family and friends. You'll start to prioritize your own needs, and in doing so, you might not say yes to every party or event that your friends invite you to. Maybe you're tired and you need a break. You'll recognize that and choose to have a personal night in instead. If you have toxic friends or family, you might start to distance yourself from those people in order to keep yourself protected. You'll start to live for yourself and not for others' expectations for you. Additionally, you may find that forgiveness comes easier to you. Self-love urges you to forgive others because you realize how harmful it is to hold on to grudges. Number seven, self-love will help you find happiness. In most healthy relationships, you want your significant other to be happy. Similarly, you'll want the same when you enter into a more honest and personal relationship with yourself. When you prioritize yourself, you'll leave behind the things that are bringing you down. Self-love allows you to step into the life you desire and pursue the things you've always wanted for yourself. Number eight, you'll feel less insecure. When you cultivate self-love, everyone's opinions about you fade away to where they don't hold that much power over you. Consequently, the only opinion that will matter to you is your own. Hence, you'll not be easily offended by other people's passing comments because you're more secure in yourself and who you are. Nine, self-love may make you more resilient. Do you take failures personally? Do you beat yourself up about something you did or didn't do? or could have done differently? When you have self-love, it will be easier to experience failure. Because you've already developed a strong sense of self, you'll realize that failure does not always have to define you. You will see each failure as an opportunity for growth. You'll also be kinder and more compassionate to yourself when you do fail. Growth takes time and patience, 
and having the strength to get up when you've fallen. Self-love helps you cultivate all of that within yourself. And number 10, you'll become more humble. Self-love teaches you acceptance of both the acceptable and seemingly unacceptable parts of yourself. As a result, you'll see clearly your areas of weakness and therefore accept help when you need it. Self-love will also allow you to extend compassion and support to others in the same way that you've given it to yourself. You'll also be less envious or jealous of others because you've stopped comparing yourself to others. Love is a powerful force. Some even say that it can move mountains and make the impossible possible. But love can also work in the simplest of ways. It helps you heal and with time, blossom. The journey to self-love isn't always pretty and it isn't always easy, but it's absolutely worth it. Did you find this video helpful? What steps are you planning to take to help you practice self-love? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Please like and share this video if it helped you and you think it could help someone else too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos and thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.